Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Road Waves 3 as Germany, episode number 24. Sorry that I haven't been really hitting the cadence I was hoping to. The release schedule is supposed to be about every four days, but I've been running a little bit behind schedule the last couple of episodes. Anyway, if it's four, I mean, if it's not four, then five, you know, <laughs> let's do the best I can. Uh, there is a reason for it. There's a work project due at the end of July. So, hey, guess what? That's almost here, which means that it's almost time for that to be over. And then hopefully... Recordings can go on unmolested for a little bit. Here we are back again, you know, doing this war with Russia and France is creeping up and I really hate that that might happen. We um, got to do our best to try to stay ahead of the victory point situation. So all these battles are actually going to be worth quite a lot now. If I can get a quick resolution, I need to take it. Um, so we'll be taking any of those. Um, yeah, I mean, just winning a war, I think, is going to tilt the trajectory positively in our favor. This is a coastal, obviously. It's a coastal. Everyone knows what a coastal is. It's just, you know, a coastal. What that means, if <laughs> sarcasm aside, I suspect it means an enemy coastal raid. That's my guess, at least. Okay, yeah, we start with control. I want to take off, look at, I don't really want to micromanage too much, but uh, I don't want to, but I will. And uh, this is exactly the reason why, 17. This is probably fine at 13. You guys are at 14 and you are at 16 currently. So what I don't want to see is people running their engines quickly too much. Um, so we want to get them down to all the same speed and then kind of control. I'm actually not sure what we'll do exactly, what kind of pattern we're gonna look for. I probably should just move these guys. Technically a screen formation is, is what I want if we can just maintain it. So yeah, I mean, we really don't know where they're gonna come from. I could send these guys in off in different directions. Not my favorite idea, but I think I may try it. Let's um, just aim for Maybe that point, and you aim for that point as well. So that'll keep them together and these guys will stay together. And we'll just wait to see if we encounter something. Oh, wow. I did not realize we had that second one way the heck over there, but that's okay. That's actually quite okay because that'll give us a little bit better coverage. Um, I think I want to move these guys slightly more northward, although that's not great for keeping everyone together. That is better for detection, so we'll kind of... I, I think I will err a little bit more on the side of detecting them first, and then combining the fleet being the first point of order as soon as we find something. I mean, we have pretty good protection in this area. Got some coastal guns. I guess I should pay attention to... Merchant 3, so that is a merchant. If I can keep them from actually taking anybody. What the heck are you doing? Donzig is kind of not... Is it turn together mode activated or something? Not really. Hmm. Oh, okay, so they are firing at somebody. Well, let's split the difference here and uh, just try to find them as quickly as possible. Redirecting their fire from the transport ASAP. It is a priority of sorts. Oh, it looks like they have three ships. I didn't realize that. Okay. You get the destroyers up to 15 because honestly they can do a little bit of scouting. So pretty good vision radius here. Um, we'll swing back towards the coast because it's it's got to be happening towards the coast, right? Sorry, this is actually the wrong way. I want the destroyers in front and this guy swinging down. And we're definitely choosing to split the fleet at this point. I don't like. Not overly much. 
But recon is really king, and that's kind of what we're going for here. Okay, so we have a Corvette, the Ida Siebes, that has a real name, so I guess it's a real class, and it is. Yeah, we've almost covered to the coast there, and we've almost covered to the coast here. I don't think that there would be anything behind us. And it's going to be dark soon, too. That's problematic. And our destroyers are kind of doing their thing, too. I mean, everything's good. Just... Ah! Just in time. Okay, so we have them now. Um, we'll pull back, and we'll pull these guys back as well. So we're going to have to stay in contact. And I guess we'll have to do that, actually, with the destroyers. So we're going to lose them, and then we'll catch them again. But my cruiser is going to pull back, and these guys are basically going to beeline down here. Your squad max is 17. I'm going to get you up to 15, because this might be over pretty quickly. Your squad max is 30, so we'll get you guys up to 20 and bring you this way. I think I'll leave the screen formation for the moment. All right, now this is almost surely a set of destroyers and we still have a little teeny bit of time before night comes they're firing at us which means they have better than three inch guns because we have three inch guns and we're not in range yet so that's how that works i think this might be a light cruiser i'm gonna bring the luker over that might be a bad idea but yeah i think it is actually a cruiser and what we can do here is, since we're not sure how much time the Blucher's going to need to be involved in any kind of action, we can get her to go really just gun up, speed up quite a bit. Um, I'm going to leave these guys on screen scout formation because it would be nice to catch something if there's anything to be caught. Anyway, so squad max. And I think we're just going to hope that Blucher by on her lonesome can handle this. Uh, wind is out of the south, so if I want, and it's a light breeze, that's not much, but we'll try to, you know, we're gaining speed. They probably have seen us by now, but they may not have identified us yet. Our speed is only at 12 because we started off slow and it takes a while to get these engines up. Okay, but well we know what this is, or at least we have a good idea that it is, oh wow, the Radoslav, which is a very fancy looking Protected cruiser or light cruiser, who knows? I'll just say light cruiser from now on, it's just easier that way. But yeah, this is um this thing's armed, well armed, well armored. It's a very good light cruiser. Depending on if it has the protected cruiser thing or not. Um nonetheless, I think this is perfect for us to actually start engaging. And we'll see if this is an armored cruiser. We'll know by how it reacts to the presence of Blucher. Anyway, Blucher is up to 16 knots now, so she's getting there. It's taking a few minutes. She's picking up her steam, though. And I'm not... Okay, that is... I, I guessed it might be, and it appears to be, that is another armored cruiser. Not too surprising. So they, I'm guessing that they sank the first transport. Just the only reason they wouldn't know is if they went out of gun range before actually sinking it, but that's very unlikely. I think I'm going to go up to 25 here and prepare to engage the armored cruiser because it's almost nighttime. So we'll just kind of spool up the engines, get ready to go. If we could actually land some hits on the Radoslav before... She looks like she's going pretty slow, but... Or maybe not. Before everything starts happening, that would be great. I, I'm a big fan of just sitting here and firing at each other, though, because we should inevitably win that one. In fact, the Blucher's quite a good armored cruiser. Four 9-inch guns. We don't know what we're up against yet in terms of the Russian armored cruiser. And honestly, um, from the perspective of having these uh, forces split, we, we got lucky. I mean, if this armored cruiser was against our light cruisers we'd be worse off for it. And once the sun goes down, which is very soon, we won't want to use our armored cruiser anyway, even against their other armored cruiser, it just kind of feels a little bit dangerous and we bring in our destroyers. 
getting a few hits on the Radoslav, that's good. Just land those hits. Hopefully make them a little bit less capable of hitting our destroyers when we close in. And we're just moments away from initiating that tor ever, you know, the ever famous ever Tortuga destroyer kamikaze run. Um, actually did get hit by medium guns. We don't know exactly what. But again, just that the new armored cruiser has landed hits very quickly. That's you know not good, but you know that's also just the way it goes sometimes. So we'll do the old uh, switch and bait thing. Lucre go this way and have my destroyers be prepared to intercept. So at this point, Blucher's done her job. I don't really know if there's any other thing for her to do but to retire. I will slow her down, maybe to 18. Um, in a little bit, as soon as we kind of get out of the, the main area here, I may, I may slow her down even more. It's kind of important to try to keep eyes on those guys before they, like, you know, the radius that they could be in. Uh, we've obviously found them now, but um, the area that they could be in just expands the longer it's been since you've seen them. So this is nice that we uh, got pretty lucky here. We found them, and this is, well, it's time for Squad Max is what it is. Um, I think that they know, they probably understand what this is. <laughs> There's no playing around with it. And we're just going to continue to go as fast as we darn well can, knowing that... Wow, this guy is capable of 22 knots, but we are going 25 knots and not catching them. So they, even though they've just turned, so I don't know. I mean, look at, they said they're going 15 knots. We are catching them, okay. We are catching them, but also getting destroyed very quickly. I want Blucher to back, go back in the action actually for a second. Yeah, we're just really having a hard time here. Could they have just, Eliminated all of us because look at D24 just got hit too. I want to save somebody um, By the way, we don't happen to have four torpedoes do we? No, we actually launched some torpedoes Hamburg. I don't know what you got left your damage is 100% that doesn't look good ah, Friendly ship line fire. Well technically you aren't dead. So let's spin you north ish All right, well that was you know that didn't go great, but you know, you're not gonna win every single one of those. D24 is limited flooding. That's a well, that's a good good thing to do. Hamburg is not dead, right? She's not. She's just miraculously Hey, if we can get Hamburg to port, well, that I mean hey, that's, that's pretty close. I highly, highly highly doubt it, but you know, and there's technically um there's a chance. Let's get you up to squad max again. We'll just try to do what we can here. Kind of a failed attempt. We'll bring these guys in. Look at these split. Go up to 22. We're, you're you're in high demand right now. Oh boy, she's firing at the hamburger. Hamburger was well named. <laughs> Be slaughtered. <laughs> it's a near miss. It's not a hit. And now, Blucher, get in there, buddy. I mean, we could do this. Ah, darn it. She's gone and done it. All right, do it, Blucher. Engage. Fire. Probably have some torpedoes on this guy. I mean, works both ways, right? So we'll do a little bit of a... Not sure which way to go. I guess I'll, I'll be smart and evade. Wow, these destroyers... Wow, that almost hit, too. Not bad. Uh, the destroyers, uh, I mean, they sank pretty quickly, you might say. All right, we're uh, hitting again. Just, uh, these guys are coming down, making, taking their sweet time. I think we'll just pursue. I don't remember what her top speed is, but just 
keep trying to pursue until the destroyers get there. What the hey diddle diddle's going on though? We got her back. And we don't really want the destroyers to pursue the light cruiser. Despite me doing that exact thing earlier. But if we can uh, just get one of these guys, I mean, this one in particular, why not? The light cruiser. If we can get that light cruiser, then, uh, yeah, well, that's, we'll take it, right? I feel like we landed some hits here or something. Oh, we're definitely landing hits. Okay. Do they see us now? They do. And the Radoslav is just getting pummeled. Supposedly. I mean, maybe we're, who knows, maybe we're actually missing think, well, okay, we'll keep an eye out for things. Because again, we could, if we uh, get lucky here, or I don't know if we'd be lucky or not, but if we uh, chance upon the armored cruiser, that might make for some interesting maneuvering at night. Uh, but I think we've reeled the Radoslav in. So the sacrifice of two of our destroyers, look at this Radoslav is 7,200, what is the, t the, yeah, it's only top speed, is 722. Um, 7,200 for the price of two, what, 500 ton destroyers? I don't know what they were. In fact, we will know once we just take a look at what you are, since you're the same. Hamburger classes are 500 tons, yeah. So we lost 1,000 tons, and we're about to pick up 7,000. That's a, this is certainly is a favorable exchange. And what, what would you know? Well, we've actually got them. We found them. Squad max, line ahead. Here we go. I don't know why this person is doing what they're doing. In fact, we were going to pull away. We haven't... Oh. The battleship? It's an armor cruiser. It can't be. Ugh. In my action, I missed where the light cruiser went. But I think it was up there. We'll speed away at this guy now. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's definitely seen his friends. For all that, there it is. Got it back. So you can see that it was actually well within the detection range. So it wasn't it wasn't like it was perfect. Bremen needs to clean the grates. She's going 15 knots for God's sake. That's practically lightning speed. <laughs> it's just it's very silly. Okay, you guys. Um, let's also have you guys reeled in. Line ahead. Alright, well, we are doing that, okay? I'll just... We have a small ant infestation. I'm doing the best I can. Alright, Luker's doing great, though. She's uh, got good angles. She's doing good damage. The Bremen will take over in a second here. Oh yeah, we're pushing her right into him. Okay, well, she's rocking hard place. Meet them both. At some point, she's going to have to do some maneuvering here. I'm going to fire torpedoes is a little reckless. But if we turn hard enough, we won't hit ourselves, right? I mean, she might even just go down from gunfire, but we have other options. I don't think you'd have a target, and, and truly, you don't. Oh yeah, the Rostov. Oh, this was perfect. We just let him right into her. Didn't find where that battleship went over here. Okay, she got hit by two dis torpedoes. That's, oh, well, that's, that's something, isn't it? Because of the high speed of those torpedoes, too, we don't really need to worry about it at this point. That's check and mate for the Radoslav. Not that it matters. We're going to practice our three-inch gunnery on her. And why not? Well-deserved. Hit with two torpedoes and then get a launch. Well, don't launch any more torpedoes for now. We'll prevent that. Okay, good lord. It's getting ridiculous. Swoop back. Um... Yeah, let's get the uh, blooper out of here. 
And we'll slow her down to 17, I think. And really, honestly, we don't need any of these folks. Go down the cruise now. Just gonna saunter out. Is there another... Okay, so you guys go down to 22, maybe. We'll keep prowling and, and looking about. You, how is your damage, by the way? It's pretty light, despite taking two medium hits. Could have been a lot, lot worse. And you have three torpedoes remaining, so you know what? I'm going to keep you out at 12, 12 knots. I'm not sure what she's doing. She's getting her own gunnery practice in. Oh no! God, it had to be the, the Blucher. Thank God I didn't slow her down that much. Okay, well, convergence. Let's converge. I mean, I guess I'm a little bit hungry for more. We'll get over here. You take two of our ships, I'm going to take two of yours. Well, we're going to take one of yours for sure, but how it goes after that, I don't know. We're exchanging fire. We actually landed a hit. Thank God. Oh my God. Turret flash fire. Ship blows up. <laughs> Blucher, you little devil. Bluger doesn't does not mean luck as far as I know in in German, but it might as well. What a fantastic engagement for us! So they uh, actually failed to sink two ships. Well, I'm not really sure if that. Oh, the limit is seven hundred tons. My destroyers don't count. <laughs> Um, Two-thirds of our victory points are coming from the fact that my destroyers don't have enough tonnage to count as a ship. <laughs> yeah, uh, destroyers are the best. They are truly the best. That's not as many victory points as I was hoping, but we'll take it. And we got a prestige points. We're crawling our way back from the lowest rungs of prestige. Okay, still having some problems here. Again, I haven't really taken the time, necessary time to fix this. I think I just need to add a class called the Blasco. Figure out what kind of design the Blasco would be. Okay, yeah, one second. Okay, I have um, just faked a Velasco.28D. We'll see if, uh, you know, change your ship class finally. And I think that that, well, maybe, it'll, I don't know, we'll just, who knows. Oh my gosh, what's going on, Spain? Can I just delete Spain from my game? <laughs> I don't really need them. Uh, monthly cost equals zero. Captured enemy munitions has helped our research in explosive shells, which we're supposed to be very, very good at. But we're almost to five plus centerline turrets. Japan and Russia have engaged in hostilities, and Japan has lost. Uh, two destroyers, sorry. Let me finish the... Okay, so the Russian have lost a light cruiser, though, and that's even better. And a Russian armored cruiser has been interned in neutral ports. Not gone, but gone for the war. And then, you know, who knows what the victory point situation is. I mean, we're just so dominating. I definitely need to take any kind of decisions to end the war with France creeping up. There was a good point, though, that I should go to fleet support since we're blockading them. We don't really need the interest anymore. We don't really need anything. So what else did I want to do? Um, I'm going to save because I'm a little worried about these errors. And I guess there's nothing else to do other than to keep going. <laughs> I do have a, kind of a lot of monthly balance, though. And no ships under construction. 
Let's go to the research screen and just see what was the last step that we've researched. We have quality 0 13 inch guns. Um, that's, yeah, that's something. I think that one of the things I'd like to do, and we'll need to do it at some point anyway, is to increase our dock size. We gotta be building something though. I feel like this is not a good state to be in, that we're just not building anything. I mean, the blockade thing has worked, but ultimately our Navy should not be comprised entirely of light cruisers on trade protection. Seems like a neat trick for now, having 47 of 12, but... You know, they're still actually getting raiding done, too, is the funny thing. Anyway, um, I know I was designing some ships, but I don't think that any of that ever came to be. Blitzdraka is certainly an interesting specimen, if not like the best. I mean, she's good compared to the ships out there right now, but it would be nice to get her into action, frankly. Getting a, what did this end up being? It's a 2-2... Two, two, one, two, so it's a seven gun broadside. I mean, that's, you know, more than three battleships <laughs> because, no, wait, that's not true. They would have two guns each. So it's it's basically the equivalent of two battleships. Hmm. Let me just auto design something just to see what, what we're looking at these days. Okay, just three centerline turrets. Well, it's pretty cheap. I mean, it's cost weight weight efficient, very weight efficient, and we would be getting our thirteen inch guns, quality zero, torpedo defense one, which is nice. I mean, there's a lot of things to like about this layout. Uh, wow, they gave us thirteen inches of belt too. That's it's quite a lot. Two and a half inches of deck as well. Jeez, and way too much conning tower. Way too little turret. I'll take this down to four. I would love to get more turret armor here. I'll go down to 12.5 on belt just to get more turret armor. I just have different priorities in the game, obviously. Take this down to 2.5, get these guys up to 13 now. Um, we can get this up to 13. We'll want more ammo. Okay, central firing. We'll, we want some leftover space as well. We have quality Z negative one six inch guns. Good gracious. We know how to make everything else at quality zero at least, except for six inch guns. You know, the most important guns in the game. Well, at least until dual, dual purpose. At some point you might say dual purpose five inch guns are more important than six inch guns. That's, yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not quite on board. Uh, we could always make it somewhere else. The US, not a bad option now that we're friends with them. What do they have as far as six inch guns go? They really, okay. So Italy has quality zero. No, we have to refresh it every time. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, that's it. You do need to wiggle it to make sure it's accurate, but it does look like everyone else has quality zero guns. Yeah, we're the only ones in the world who don't know how to make a six inch gun. Ah, well, well fair enough. Uh, I just can't make it at home then. I refuse. It's just my pride getting in the way at this point, but moving on. Yeah, so again, I don't want to be except in these battles at this point the war is over we have like almost an eight to one victory point lead um i'd like to decline even though it gives them 800 victory points that's really not that bad but i think action with light forces too it's only light for well, let me accept because 800 points is a lot to give and we can just pull out of this fight right away well they really weren't kidding when they said light fight So I suspect that we'll find them when day breaks. Is that what's going to happen here? Nope. Squad Max. Launch torpedoes. And away we go. I'm not even going to launch torpedoes because they're obviously destroyers, so... There's no real hope of anybody finding anyone. Oh, damn it. The light came just at the wrong time. 
Well, are they going to pursue us all the way back? Probably. So we'll take an oblique angle towards <laughs> our port and just go. Cue the Benny Hill. They're faster than us, so that's not good. We've got a long way to go, too. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just when we get further enough away, the next, you know, the nighttime is completely gone now. No longer twilight at all. Completely day. We'll just run. Well, it looks like destroyers can keep up their speed for quite a while. That's what is a good time to lock. Yeah, that little move right there is what I I. Love to see it. In fact, you know, this is completely unrealistic that they could do that maneuver and still keep all that speed. And look at that, that's just insane. <laughs> oh, it's an actual protected group. What in God's name? This thing, this is, is faster than my destroyers. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna say no because hey, if they wanna fight, Next to this six inch turret, we'll fight next to the six inch turret. All right, we'll go down to 20, I guess, at this point. Getting a lot of reports. I think we know where they are. Not yet. Just tease him a little bit longer. Just trying to make sure they don't go crazy. I mean, I'd prefer for them to actually engage these these guns next to me. Aha! Like that. Or, you know, run over the mines. That's fine with me, too. Seems like they've actually gone by these guns a fair amount. Nothing happened though? I mean, we're not going that fast. <laughs> oh man, this is just comical. It, it might have been worth 800 victory points for my sanity. It's kind of really tedious <laughs> battle. But how else would you play this? I don't know. I mean, you could charge at them and lose both your destroyers. I could enter port, but then they can just go willy-nilly after my transports, and they will. Okay, there we go. Uh, that was very successful. It's actually a victory for us, too. I don't know. So it, they must have actually done damage to the, the... I mean, the coastal guns must have actually done damage. They took 12 hits! My goodness! That was beautiful! Just a beautiful action. I consider it a huge victory. Two destroyers defeated a, a protected cruiser. We definitely got the best out of that one. I mean, the best we could. Not just the best, but... Um, only the Navy can win the war is always the answer to that. There's five plus centerline turrets. I sunk an enemy submarine. We're getting some victory points from all this. Oh, goodness gracious, 13. It's funny, I went to fleet support and I was thinking in my head, well, that'll also help France not enter the war. Yeah, about that. And if France enters the war, so this is a little bit of a confusing issue to me. Is this war, if, I, I still don't know, if France joins, does Britain join? Because France is allied to Russia, but Britain is not. I don't even know if it counts as the alliance that they're going to join or just separate tensions. But I think it's because we're... Oh, God. <clears throat> well, we need the points, don't we? 
Oh god, what is just even worse? At least it's nighttime for us this time. So the moment we discover where the enemy is, we know exactly what we're gonna do. We actually lobbed a torpedo at them, I, I believe I saw. Great, good, great battle. Very fun, much wow. It's good to have these light forces too, but um, I mean these light force engagements, but you know, it's also not gonna really be that substantial. Okay, I need the Nesnik now. Okay, combat reports indicate that our standard torpedo has serious deficiencies. May I respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple years back, sir. There will all be some testing and problems, <laughs> teeth and problems with the new equipment. <clears throat> the problem can probably be solved with some modifications, but for now we will have to use it, or I was despairing. I just do whatever to fix the problem. Um, these terms sound like a good basis for peace negotiations. Ah, oh, thank God. We gained large territories and considerable war reparations. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can take Finland. Now, I should let it be known, the most efficient thing you can do is take zero territory, because the most efficient thing you can do is get war reparations for this money. Um, however, it's always nice to paint the map. Now, what I like to do typically, it's 1908, that's pretty early on, it might be still time for war reparations, but um, what I like to do generally is uh, don't, don't take territory early on, and then around 1920, just take all the territory, no more war, war reparations. However, I think I want to actually take the Baltic states. Um, cause Finland would be difficult for us to control if we didn't control the Baltic states. The other options don't interest me. I do not want a bigger Northeast Asian holding. And this one's actually Northern Pacific. So that's like, it's frankly, right out. Yeah, let's take the Baltic states. Can you, can you? Oh, good, it does work. Sweet, that's actually cool. They actually allow you to see things now. That's great. Yeah, so there we go. We have Baltic states, Russia itself, Finland. Not sure what that is. I mean, it's the, the port up there, but I guess it's a considered a second territory. I didn't know that. Because <laughs> there's no sea region up there. You can't access it. It's just a floating territory outside of sea regions. Kind of a weird thing. I guess, note to self, don't ever put turrets to defend that one. <laughs> yeah, um, Baltic States is going to make a lot more sense. Uh, this is definitely not centering on it, but you can see it there. Then we'll control this. We'll kind of control more. I don't know. It, it's good. Let's do it. Okay. And Sockland is ceded from Russia to Japan. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness gracious. What a terrible, terrible defeat for the Russians. Oh, sorry, Sockland. Oh, all that precious oil and does it have gold too? I think it is just mostly, uh, it has like a valuable strategic resource and I think it's gold. I mean, sorry, oil. But some, for some reason gold obviously is rolling off my tongue too. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, a successful one. Victory at last, which we, we knew was coming, but the biggest victory, in my opinion, was staving off war with the French so we can build up a bigger navy and then we'll be better suited to deal with them. I don't really know what the ramifications of that torpedo episode, the torpedo event are. 
do we end up getting better torpedo technology if we hadn't done it would it have just been like sapped the morale i don't know um because the top option seemed okay and it is i think that there's uh, something to be said about new equipment having teething problems Anyway, oh boy, I'm tired. So we'll wrap it up here. So until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.